Hey, what goes on everybody? My name is Ethan and welcome back to more Ozborn. So we're still in the ground here. I did some smithing. I got my iron chest plate and stuff like that. I was waiting for daytime, but um, something just shot at me. I'm pretty sure Mothra is actually here. I know Mothra is one of the boss monsters. Oh god, is that really Mothra? That looks like Mothra. Jit! Okay, Mothra is here. Yep, that's Mothra! Crap, I'm on fire. Am I gonna burn to death because of Mothra? No, okay, it's fire doesn't last. Okay, Mothra is here. Great. <laughs> oh my god, Mothra, piss off. So just waiting for daytime. Oh god, that was terrifying. I'm waiting for daytime so I can hopefully make a run for it. But if Mothra is going to stay here, it's probably going to murderize me. But yeah, I'm going to, um... Hopefully, hopefully live through the night. And then continue. I want to get my bearings once I pop out of here so we can consider where to put our base. And then I can sort of get to resource gathering and stuff like that so we can get set up properly this episode. Looks like it's uh, early morning now, the sun is coming up, we can finally get outside this hole. I have been looking forward to recording this, guys. I have been really looking forward to playing all spawn. Um, ant, little ant. Alright, so we got some sort of spawner there. There's Mothra off in the distance. That's some sort of, that's a battle squid spawner with a chest. Oh, hello, little friend. Alright, let's do battle with this little guy first. Alright, so which... It looks like we've... The biome begins here, so we've got some good stuff. Oh, right, I can't press control to sprint. Okay. Um, we've got some good-looking area here. Uh, it's not exactly what I have in mind. Um, we are going to keep going. I'm hoping to go over here and just find exactly what I'm looking for. Which I'm not. <laughs> this isn't exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, this is a little bit closer. It looks like we're in an extreme hills. Yeah, we are. So we need to get out of the extreme hills into like a plains area would be better for me. Someone commented about the girlfriends and how I can tame them with roses. Um, just like pets, apparently. That's a little bit sexist. But, uh, <laughs> it's funny nonetheless. Uh, there's also, um, if I add a water bucket in a crafting table to these dried eggs, I can spawn things. And I did hear that the, um... Where is it? The hammerhead that I have here is actually, like, it's a boss, so we're gonna have to do that eventually. I'm assuming it's the sort of hammerhead that flies, you don't have to spawn it in the water. Because... That would just make sense to me. That I know that, that that doesn't make sense at all. Wait, is this somewhere I've been? I may have been here. I'm not really sure now. There are other dimensions, too. Like, um, some of you guys said read the wiki, some of you guys said do whatever you want, you know. I'm just gonna sort of, um... I'm just gonna read if I want to read, basically. Uh, I don't really care what anybody else says, but I did have a bit of a read on some of the like essentials, things that you need to know, um, so you can plan sort of your plot through the world, your path would be the best way to say it. And yeah, there is, there is a, um, a mining dimension that we definitely need to go to. You know, mining is where it's at. I want to mine, you know? I need to be able to mine for resources, so if we go to a mining dimension, that would be best. So I found out that you can you can make cages, like little animal cages, that you throw at them and you can capture them. So because we use ants to teleport d between dimensions, I want to capture ants and only ever teleport between dimensions in like a controlled area. So that I always, I think it'll work that, or it would make sense if it works that if wherever I teleport in this world, the coordinates will, you know, link up with where I appear in the other world. So, in a sense that if I teleport at my base, I will always appear in the same spot. So I want to always teleport from my base into the other dimensions and then have bases in the other dimensions where I can then teleport back and pop back up in my base. If it doesn't end up working like that, then we're screwed. We're gonna have to write down a bunch of coordinates and it's just gonna be a massive hassle. But uh, shh, giant bee, giant bee, giant bee! Giant bee! I don't know if I can... Oh. 
must survive above all else. Haven't set spawn yet. Okay, need it. Need air. All right, it's sort of pissed off. Oh my god, I just like. Oh my god. I'm so far from where I spawned. I seriously need to get a bed going on here. All right, looks like there's a swamp over here. The bee can't get me where I am now. I know it can't get under these blocks here. Okay, we need to find some sheep. There's got to be some sheep around here somewhere. It looks like we've come up on a forest and a uh, one of these biomes. What's this? A um, this is a place. Swamp biome. That's it. <laughs> what are these actually? Carrots. Really? Oh, radishes? Was that a radish? Did I get that right? It was a radish. Our underground um, farming area that we're going to have. Ducks! Little squack, little quack ducks. Oh. Oh, they quack when you kill them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I feel bad for murdering them now. This is perfect. The area we're coming up in over here right now is perfect to have our base. Um, we can get an open area. Lots of trees and things. Um... This is looking pretty pretty promising right here. What's this stuff? Is this more salt ore? It is, isn't it? That's salt ore. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that, but we'll remember that it's there. So this place here is looking pretty promising. I might set up... We might set up camp here. Uh, we may move in the near future. Who knows? What are those things? Are you friendly? You look like the devil, honestly. Oh! Oh no, what have I done? I have nausea. It farted. Was that a skunk? An orange skunk? What the hell? Oh my god, I hate this. Nausea in this game is horrible. Wow. Hey, girlfriend. Um, is that a... Is that a mouse? Chipmunk? Oh my god, look at it. Hey, little chipmunk! Oh, it's running away from me. It doesn't like me. Oh, anthills. Oh, they're everywhere here. Oh, that's not good. I think ants will team up and attack you if you stay still for too long. But I'm not sure. Hello, little chipmunk. <gasps> oh, it makes cute little noises when you kill it. Hey, girlfriend. Will you fight me? Nah, she's swimming, though. She's having a mad swim. All right, we should get set up here. Actually, I might use this. No, nah, I don't want to use that hill to my advantage. Um, we're going to go over here and place down a bed. <gasps> uh, uh, what? Did it, sh it shot string at me. That's what that was. No, 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 no. Let's get the hell out of here. Out. Uh, am scray. We are am scraying away from here, please. Okay, what's that? Flower. Something else. Anyway, we're gonna dig into the hill over here somewhere. Then, screw that giant ass bug. It can go to hell. I need to fight you. Okay, that's definitely the biggest. One of the biggest dangers of this biome is that guy right there. He's a pretty dangerous guy. I don't see... Whoa! Rainbow cow? No. What kind of cow are you? <gasps> apples! Like... Golden apples? Golden apples! Oh no, I can't pick anything up. Um, I'm not going to need those, obviously. Apples and golden apples. Wow, I like these cows already. I need to breed some of these. I shouldn't have murdered them after I realized that they dropped gold apples. And they're definitely not a rare thing that looks like that. Alright, well, I need to keep that in mind and murder some of those bad boys. Let's keep going off in this direction. I still I still want to set up somewhere nice. I still I haven't found the ideal place that I have in my head just yet. But this is starting to look very, very promising right here. Right here. This is perfect. This is exactly where the silo can go. Like Oh, yeah, no, this looks really good. Because I can put the middle of it here, or over here, where there'll be, like, a standing up, like, probably quartz. I'm thinking about using quartz because it looks, like, futuristic. So I can have, like, a big open dome. Oh, well, not open dome, but, like, a cylinder dome shape here, which is, um, which will have, like, security doors. And then over in this area, we can have, like, glass that lets the sunlight in so we can grow crops off the natural light. Although it's too dangerous for us to actually have the crops on the surface because it's an alien world. That's that's the s strategy. Oh! Giant bees spawn here as well. Okay. Let's get down here, away from the giant bees. Okay, so it looks like this is a good place to start. What do we got here? Oh, this looks promising. 
Um, I don't need gunpowder. Ancient dried creeping horror spawn egg. That doesn't sound like fun at all. Sounds like if I do that, it'll kick my ass. Okay, so where are we going to have our base? I think we'll have it right in here. This is a good little spot here. Look at this. This is a sick little base. <laughs> Alright, so we can now go... We'll bust that so we know how to get out. And we'll put a torch here so we can always... Oh, God! Oh, God, there's a praying mantis. Was that a giant praying mantis? I'm pretty sure it was a giant praying mantis. Oh, what have I done? Ah, uh, something's tickling my leg. <laughs> Alright, everything here is trying to kill me. Let's do that. Alright, we got we got a door place. We got a door place. Alright, so crafting table. Fern eye. Let's get a door, please. Awesome. So we can do this now. Oh yeah, we have a base. Look at that guy's base. Done. Base is done. Feel free to come and hang out at the base whenever you guys want. Um one. We'll get some get some extra space here. We need to get full iron at least. Uh, we definitely need to do some mining, so what I might do is, uh, I'm gonna escape sort of thing, I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna find a cave, and we're gonna do some caving this episode together, and you guys are gonna enjoy it, and I'm gonna enjoy it, <laughs> and you will enjoy it. Um, let's bring some god apples just in case, let's put our diamonds away, we don't need that. Oh no, let's bring a diamond pick actually, just in case, because you never know what, you never know what you're gonna find. Because I don't have an iron pick. I can't make an iron pick. And we'll bring these apples as well, just in case. Yeah, okay, this looks good. Bring the coal. Cool, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's get some wood going on here. Some stickaroos. That way we can have sticks here. Get that. Oh, yeah. We're good to go. I'm going to find us a cave. All right, it looked like we found a mine shaft. I could hear spiders, and I was just like, all right, I'm gonna keep going down, and here we are. Got ourselves a mine shaft. This is a great start. Like, normal Minecraft, modded Minecraft, whatever. Oh, no, wait. That means those spiders that... What was that? Sound like a block breaking. That means those spiders that I heard are probably those shitty little evil death spiders, the ones that poison you. But anyway, we're going to get set up down here. This should be good stuff. We can get our mining done down here. We can do a bit of smelting. This will be like our uh, base camp area just here. So let's go. I don't really usually mine like this, but I'm just because I know how scary this mod is. Or how much death there's going to be. Like, people even said use keep inventory. I don't do that sort of thing. I don't want to use keep inventory. That sounds way too boring. But uh, I definitely I definitely am going to try and play it as safe as safe as I can. Alright, I'm not going to be stupid about it or anything. We're going to do the right things at the right time. You guys are going to be proud of me. Those spiders are really annoying. We need to get rid of them. Okay, let's do this. We're going to set up our station right here. First of all, crafting table. Get some more torches here. Let's put a torch there. Awesome. Okay. What have I done? One, two, three, I reckon. Three. And we're going to do that, that, and that. And then we're going to put a chest down for all our extra stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful station work already. Whoop, this is a craft table. We want to get... I want to use iron picks. Now that this stone pick is broken, I want to move on to iron picks already. So let's get that going on. Gonna do some mining, and for those of you, oh, for the, what I haven't mentioned is I'm actually pre-recording for the weekend now, so I'm gonna do two episodes here of just pre-recording. So we are just gonna do sort of the mundane stuff, get really, really set up. So a lot of you guys said that you didn't want me to do stuff off camera, that um you don't like that. So I'm gonna do the first couple episodes on camera, and we will do stuff off camera later on when I have to do like heaps of grinding and mining, but. For now, this is a good way to get set up. I don't mind you guys watching this with me. There are a lot of spiders around here, though. That's pretty scary. <laughs> uh, let's go up. Oh, what have I done? I've boxed myself in. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Uh, let's put those away. And, yep, we got enough iron here. Get ourselves a pickaxe. Awesome. Faster mining, don't even need the diamond pickaxe anymore, but whatever, we'll get some obsidian while we're down here, I suppose. That's always a handy thing to have, and I guess we can go do some exploring now. 
Um, did I just get more iron? No, I did not. So let's go find more iron, basically. <laughs> I'm really, really scared of when I run into this pile of spiders that I'm going to get poisoned and die. But whatever, it's not hardcore or anything, so I can just keep going whenever I die. I don't get to play that much Minecraft, so dying is... Oh, yay, pumpkin seeds. Dying will be new for me. I don't get to play Minecraft enough to die all that often. Um, that... Okay, that's pretty much a dead end. We won't even bother with that. I haven't seen any of the other ores yet. Oh, there's some emerald. Hello. Hey, emerald. Oh, what? More than one? That's rare. I didn't know they did that now. They don't. And this is an old version of Minecraft. I didn't know you could get more than one. It must be rare. I haven't seen any of the other game's ores yet. Like... Not down in the mine shaft here anyway. Maybe mine shafts generated normally. Don't know. That would oh, there's lava falling back there. That would be really weird if mine shafts didn't generate the mods ores. I would feel like that's broken. <laughs> iron, plenty of iron. Uh, pop pop. Yes, pop pop. <laughs> For those of you who get the community joke. Ah, uh, it's great. Like there. Oh, brilliant. Cave is just fantastic. To find a mine shaft that links onto a cave, you're usually in a good position. I'm gonna get this iron just here. I'm excited about this cave. Excited for the caves. Uh, what's down here? More stuff? More good stuff? There's some gold. Brilliant. Um, if there are cows that drop golden apples, I'm just gonna go right ahead and assume that I'm gonna need them. Uh, I've seen some of the boss monsters after checking out their website. And yeah, probably going to need some help. Probably need some of that sweet golden apple laugh. Some smooth golden apple. That doesn't sound right. Apple cider, maybe. <laughs> Either way, we definitely need, need golden apples. I don't know if like mining the gold and using it for golden apples is a good idea, but for now that's going to be my reason to be excited about gold. I'd like, um, I would like diamonds. Diamonds would be nice. In the rough. The but diamonds in the sky. That's the Rihanna song, isn't it? Oh, hello. This is a pretty good place, I reckon. It's pretty nice living, hang out just there. I'm gonna go round it, though. I think I can. Whoa, that there. Hey, we got a chest up here. But I may have already been to it. Nope. Awesome. I need more torches. I haven't seen any monsters down here either. Like, I heard those spiders, obviously. I'm already lost. Damn. I didn't even think this through. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So then we can get all 16 in one and do that. That's my OCD way of doing torches. That's something that I just really, really like. Have to, have to do. Like, I can't not do that. If I got enough, if I got more than 16 coal, I have to make 16. I have to do 16, get the stack, be done. That's just, that's it. That's it. That's how the world should, that's how you should do it. It's the most efficient way to do it, okay? That's just, it's not weird, right? That's normal. Hey, my base! <laughs> what? I thought I was really far away. That's pretty good, though, I guess. Um, there's the, oh, this is the way around the lava. Cool. More and more iron. I'll be able to get full iron now. I guess that's a start. I think I was hoping to get some of that amethyst stuff. Maybe you can't mine it. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. I was thinking about to mine it, but whoa, what was that? Did I just see something? No, I didn't. Okay, have I been down here? No, I have not. This is new to me. What layer am I at? Layer 25. We found a little ravine here. What the hell? Let's find an emerald block. I just find multiple emerald blocks? What the hell? Why is this a thing? Am I playing OP Anarchy? <laughs> I just found emerald blocks. Cool. Okay, what's over there? Um, okay, there's no sprint key for me to mess up here. But, let's be careful. Let's be very, very careful of zombies. They could ruin my day. Oh, hello. Hey, zombie. How's he doing? How you doing, friend? Oh, lapis. Lapis could be handy. Lapis is always pretty handy. This is a long. This is a long ravine. Okay, cool. 
We're gonna go down the ravine. Uh, once I get this, one of these bad boys right here. All right, let's head on down the ravine. All right, guys, I ran back a little bit because holy crap, we're already 20, 20 minutes into the episode, so that's gonna have to do it for the day. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna sprint through this cave a little bit. And I think I'll do the next episode in the cave as well. Since I need two pre-recorded for the weekend, we may as well do them as, like, setup episodes. So I'm going to do some caving in the next episode as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. It really looks like people are enjoying the series. I got lots of likes, lots of... so many comments. It was awesome, actually. So uh, a lot of you guys have played this mod as well, so you can help me out. So yeah, guys, like always, I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to pro-crit that like button, send me some love. You could also share and favorite this video for extra dexter love. I love it when you love, and I will see you guys in the next episode.